so in this video, we finna learn about the truth about the Ark of the Covenant. Now, many people think the Ark of the Covenant is a box that's in this building that's in Ethiopia, you know, and that's the simplicity of understanding why Noah built the Ark and why Christ is a carpenter. Now, we often say we are building when we come on these platforms when we run in our mouths. So a form of building in a spiritual sense is talking, you know, that is a form of building. The same way the, the Tower of Babylon got built by people talking, it didn't get built by people with physical saws and tools. Because like I say, we say it all the time. Man, I'm building. Let's build. So a form of talking and communication is a form of building. So Noah building the Ark of the Covenant is not Noah building the real boat. And I'm going to go into the scripture to prove this. Now again, in this video, it's going to prove the Ark of the Covenant is not in Ethiopia and it's not in this box because the Ark of the Covenant comes with a vessel and this vessel purifies the Levites so the Levites can also carry the Ark of the Covenant as is written in scriptures. They carry the Ark of the Covenant and we know the Levites are not carrying a boat. They're not carrying a box. They're carrying the God of Spirit. You know, that's why it says the boatman. You know, the relationship, the fishermen of men. What do you fish on? On a boat. You know, so again, all of these are parables. You talk about maritime law. So let's go to 2 Maccabees. If you have the Apocrypha, get your Apocrypha out. And let's go to 2 Maccabees and let's read. The Ark of the Covenant will not be found until the appointed time. So I'm in the Apocrypha in 2 Maccabees chapter 2, verse 4 through 7. Now it said, is also contained in the same writing that the prophet being warned of God commanded that the tabernacle and the ark go with him. So the tabernacle and the ark went with, with a person. That's a spirit. As God say, I'm going to hide my spirit from Israel, you know. So it says, commanded the tabernacle and the ark to go with him as he went forth into the mountain where Moses climbed up and saw the heritage of God. The heritage of God was going to be in the last days. Now, who was this prophet? And when Jeremiah came hither, he found a hollow cave wherein he laid the tabernacle and the ark. Now, some people say, well, it's in the cave. Come on, y'all. These are parables. Huh? Come on. How many times are we going to say these are parables and metaphors? So, in a hollow cave wherein he laid the tabernacle and the ark and the altar of incense and stopped it to the door. And some of those that followed him came to mark the way, but they could not find it. Now, some of them followed what Jeremiah tried to give them, but what? They couldn't follow it. They couldn't understand it. You know how we talking and we say, man, I don't follow that. It has nothing to do with him following him to a cave. So don't lose me. It says, and he came to mark the way, but they could not find it, which when Jeremiah perceived, he blamed them saying, as for that place, it shall be unknown. So the place about the Ark of the Covenant, according to scriptures, it was going to be unknown. Until what? The time that God gathered his people again together and received them unto mercy. So we would have to go to Jeremiah 23 and understand what Jeremiah 23 is really speaking of. It's speaking of what? God gathering the people from the four corners of the earth with the Ark of the Covenant that's with a living vessel as it was back in Jeremiah time. The ark and the tabernacle was with Jeremiah. So these are not things that you put your hands on. The ark and the tabernacle have everything to do with the spirit of God. And this spirit of God will be inside of a living vessel so you can worship the living God. So I hope in this video you truly understood what the true ark of the covenant is and it has been found because right now God is guiding his people from the four corners of the earth. Peace.